Hello and welcome on to the studio. My name is Peter. I don't the studio. We're just going to see how we can be able to create a local host using Laragon. We're just going to use this is a free resource and an easy to set up a user friendly and this tutorial itself is a well full package of detail but an easy tutorial to follow. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I show you how. So the first thing first, use the Nifas link on the de description. It will just get you here. You'll be able to download uh, this way you'll be able to download uh, now the Laragon. The first one you're just going to have is the one that is full package, 173. It has all that is needed. We have Gain, Chamber Square, PHP and all that. But if you just need just the simple one, you can use Portable. But I can recommend you have this. It has a lot of full features. So just click on this link, just download. After you download, I already have it. I'm not going to install it again. After now you have it, install, use the normal procedure of installing a software. It will just prompt some few uh, administrator lights, just give it, uh, just give it. Then after that, you just really need to restart your machine. After now you restart your machine, that depending on either PC or the laptop or, level, or whatever you're using, after you restart, just get back here. So once you, once you restart, you have now this button and now on click on this button on click on the button it should open but if it doesn't open just open here on this tray here you'll have it just click on it it will just open it's supposed to open like this and it should be working well so here are a few things we just need to set up and some of them we're not going to see the impact for now but you're going to see them later though the first one here is that you're going to personally i like to learn aragon when the window start and also i like to minimize and i like it starting automatically i had i had already said this and uh, the other thing is that we have name this is now our website dot this now you can change this to be dot com dot co dot k dot test dot me dot whatever you want the other thing is the ports. Uh, the ports. Most of the features that we are going to need, they really need Apache and also they need MSQL. And I also activated this SSL. Most of the time it may not work, depending we have not installed the SSL here. So the other thing is the mail catcher. This is the notice that whenever an email is sent from the local host, it will just display somewhere here. We'll have a notice somewhere here. How long do you want the duration of how long you want it displayed? Just set it from here. Then from there, we have the mail sender. If you want to receive directly the email into your email account, input your email here and you have it. It's somehow like an SMTP. It really works well, so, but most of the time you find Google doesn't allow you to add the Gmail, but you can try maybe to ask it to work for you. Then the other thing we just need to set is now on click on this, uh, you can use the notepad that comes with uh, the local host. I'm not going to open that. If you really want to see if your local host is working, just click on this button. If you just display like this, it will just display the version you have and you can click on this page to see the info about whatever you, uh, whatever is installed or whatever, uh, whatever it's the features and all those things you just want to know about the uh, the software. The other thing is that if you have not installed a PHP my admin, you click on this, you can be able to access the database. But for you, you are not going to access this until you install PHP my admin. I had done another tutorial, but my mic was not recording, so that's why I have that. So. Then the other thing, we have the terminal. You can use the localhost terminal. Then from here, we have now on click, we just open this. You can use the terminal. I'm not going to update this for now. We're not going to use it, but you can update for you to have the latest version. Is it this on this click on this button? You're going to have all those projects that you have or you're using the localhost from. You can for those uh, projects that are uh, just drag and drop, just drag it. You just drop here. Uh, those have the for for uh, the folders that drag and drop. Just drop it on this www on yeah normally. Just click on here. Just drag drag whatever it is and drop it here. 
Then if you want to access it and you want to open it, now comes here, open the tray, right click on the icon for Aragon, and now on click on this WW for current we have, but if we had a folder here, we could have accessed it. So let me just open, uh, just let me just create uh, just a sample folder here, and we do it. Let me just, just like that, and we open it, and let me drag it, and I drop with that, let's head over back here with our folder inside there. And we head here. Now we have our new folder, but the folder is blank. It's going to open display. Nothing. Yeah. So if you have those full, uh, the software or the, the software that need to be learned and with a drag and drop folder, just drag and drop like that. Then from there, let us cross line. Let's now go now to installation of WordPress. We're just going to install WordPress and I'm also going to show you how you can be able to install PHP My Admin and any other features that you just want to use. So the first thing you just need, open up this tray. If it is hidden, most of you may find it here. We have this icon, just it's, make sure you just see this icon, light click. We use light click for you to be able to see all this. Now head over to quick app. On quick app, we have uh, option for Arvel and we have the WordPress. We're going to use WordPress here. Now just give it a name. I'm going to give it shop, a simple, a simple name. And I'm not going to include any additional like .com, .co, just leave it just like the one, the name you just want to use. And it will include the one we set on the setting. Remember the one I told you, .in, .test, .com, .u, .ke, .all that. On click on that, it just, oh, it's magic, it just install whatever it is. This is the first time, uh, if it's the first time to install, maybe whatever you're installing, it doesn't have the catcher to refer from. So it would just take a small bit of your time, but it just install. Once it's done, it will just activate. You have this uh, notice, and now we have this administrator, right? You have to give it the right to use. Uh, so I, active, mm -hmm. I give it the right to. Access so with that, the now button becomes activated. On click on this, we have visit site. Now we have shop.in. Remember here? So this is the one we did set here. Let me just I click on this. Remember here we did set dot in, but if we did set dot com dot all that, it should be shop dot whatever you, you set here. So from here, let's now set up all this. I'm going to use English. This is just a simple. I'm just going to use uh, site title as shop. And I'm also going to use, this is for demo purposes. And then I confirm I'm using, I use, a, you must have an email, the one, if you can use the one that you'll be, say, be receiving all the email from this website. Then the other thing is you said, uh, I'm going to discourage uh, index of the website. So I click install now. Once it's done, this now is whatever we did set. This is uh, uh, the email catcher. You see, it just display how long we did set. If you want to change, if you want to view the email, just click on this, on click on this, to just display the email from whatever, the website email you did set, and all those other, you can take your time and just go through it. And you see, you can be able to even change the theme for this and front and all that. I'm not going to customize much on that, but you can even change the color style and all that. So from there, I think we need to log into our WordPress so that we can be able to access our dashboard. So we, the one we did set, now we use the email and password we did set during installation. So I log in here and boom, we are just in the dashboard, in our WordPress dashboard. Now, I, I don't really like this, but if you, do, if you do like them, you can leave them the way they are. But if you want to control, just click on this screen option, uncheck, and with that, they disappear. Just cross here, but if you need some, you can check. There are the things you want. Then from here, there are a few things you just need to set up for your WordPress before you do anything. The first thing is setting and head over to setting and select uh, permalinks, select post name. 
it will help in the indexing of your website. You can use other available tags and you can be able to create a customized one, but I'm not going to change. I'm going to use that one. The other thing is we head over to general. You can be able to change the site title from here and maybe do shop.in and you can also add some tagline. If you want some membership in your web, website, remember to check on this, head over here and include the role that you want the new user who are registered to your website to be assigned to. You may have as many roles depending on the features you have included based on the plugins you have installed in your website. Then there are things you can be able to change uh, your email from here. And from there, you can change the date format and the time format and the week start on and you save the changes. From there, we have other things you can check on. Um, yep, on lighting, uh, which post, which the default post category. You can, if you have included some post category, uh, post category you just come here here and you can be able to add for some post categories and you can be able to you can set the one you want to use the other thing is now we have the reading from now the reading if you have a specific page you want to be the home page currently this is our home page but if you want to change it select the static uh, static page select the page if you have many other pages select from here and you save the changes if we refresh our page here, you'll be able to see the difference and just changes. And you see we have the title, uh, we have the header, we have the post here, and we have the footer. Everything worked normally. Then from there, let's see if it's uh, we can be able, it's having something here. Yeah, we have the theme 2024. You can see the WordPress we installed is the latest one. So um, I don't really like these themes. Uh, most of the time, it's always recommended. But you'll just leave one for the purpose of the uh whenever the, sometimes things get haywire and you can change using that uh you have to remove the the theme you have and it's always recommended to have one so from there you can be able to access all the theme if you are connected to internet you'll be able to access all the themes that are there in the repository and member and all you can just need to do is install and activate we have also the plugins if you don't need this, if you don't really need them, just create, select all of them, bulk option, select read and apply. If you just need to install a new theme or a plugin, which is local, if you have downloaded it, just click on upload, choose the one and just select where you have stored them and install and activate. We have all lots of them you can choose from here. I hope on that everything is working normally on our website and front end is working normal and even the page are loading well and even the privacy policy, everything, every page is working well. So currently this button are heading nowhere, that's why they are having some hash after the shop link. Then from there, let's now head over to the installation of PHP my admin and we can be able to access all the database. So if you want to install the data if you want to, to access the database just click here a right click just head over to my msql so you may not have the it right now so what you do just head over to tools and quick add and you have all those if you want to install mongodb you call post whatever it you want but the one you want for now is the php my admin click on it it will just download and install it in our website. Once it's done, it may request the authorization for it to work on your web on your machine. All else, it will just download and open the page automatically. You can see it's done. We are waiting and see where it should redirect us to the page for the PHP my admin. It's done. You see here, yeah, it is just uh, displays done. Now, what you need to do, if you have not set in a password for your for your database, just use root as your username. Don't you don't have the password? Just click login, and boom, we are there. You can be able to access all the database. Just click here. You can access all the database. And if you want to delete the database, whatever the database you want, just click here and 
uh, select the button, but it's always recommendable to be much, much more cautious when uh, interacting with data database. You you mess once, it just damage or everything. So currently, you can see all the database has been included for our website. You can see here we have it. We even have the user. You, when you open the user, it ha only have one user, which is the admin. You can be able to see all of them. If you want to include a password, just click localhost here and select user account here. And currently, you see we don't have password. Uh, just edit the privilege, select change password here. We have the database and you also have the password. Uh, enter password here and let me just try here. We add a new password here and we select go. I'm not going to save that. Once now we're done on that, let's cross here. Let's cross here. And uh, let me also cross here. Let's now try to access the database PH, through PHP my admin. So we head over back, we head over here to my MSQL. We have now a button for uh, PHP my admin and boom we cannot be able to log in yeah until we inst we input our password so if I input my password I'll be able to log in if you want to remove the password just click here user account and select the one you want to remove the password from click edit privilege change password no password go and with that you have removed the password there what's the other thing if they are yeah you see now we don't have the password yeah we cannot we can now be able to yeah so here we have we have a notice that we have a new php my admin version i have not downloaded it for but i will do another tutorial on how you can be able to upgrade your php from there let's see any other thing let me click here msql we have Hades SQL. Let me see if it's ah, here. Yeah, this is another way you can be able to access the database here. So here you can be able to access all the database that you're accessing here. You can also use Hades. Light click here. We have MSQL. We have Hades SQL. Just click on it. We have the Lalagon MSQL, which is already installed. Just click on this. We have all that. So if you close here, we have the shop and you can be able to see all of them. Some people, I I see most of my friends like to use from here, but I don't know whatever they do work from here. I hope literally, me personally, I use PHP. My admin, so you can see the comment and all that option. There are so many, there's so many things you can be able to manage from here. Yeah, from there, the other thing you can be able to do from there, let me head over and show you something. If you forgot your PHP uh, password, you can come here on Haiti. We have now, you can use, you on open, here we have another way you can be able to add the password and you save. Once you add the password here, you save what i mean is that on adding that and we save let's try to access you see it has been denied so now you must use the php my admin to access the database if you don't want it just remove it and save the changes on click here you're going to access the database I don't think there's another thing. Then there are the final things that how you can be able to access maybe some help of something of error you're getting. If you want to report some error, just click on this icon here, online help. It will just direct you to this page. Click on this link here. It will just direct you to the GitHub. And here, there's so many questions that are being pressed here. And you may find you are either the issue you're getting through or you're going through is, is answered from here. Any other question you feel like I can be able to tackle, put it on the comment section. I'll do my due diligence to have you to make you have the answer as soon as possible. Hope you didn't learn something out of this story. If you did learn something out of this story, hit the thumbs up till next time. Adios.